How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you guys today as always. This is day three of our Kung Fu Panda coverage. Day one we kind of went over all the skins and everything. Day two we checked out the 1v1 showdown mode. And each of the two days I gave out a Po skin and a Tigress skin. And today is all about Tai Lung. Tai Lung is Mordex, right? Mordex is the most popular legend in the game right now, so I thought it was fitting that we would dedicate this entire episode to Tai Lung. And I'm also going to be dropping a code to unlock Tai Lung in the comments after this video. So good luck to everybody, and let's just go ahead and start with Black Tai Lung, I guess. I'll leave the default weapons on for now. But we will change it up in the coming games. I do want to change up the sidekick though. Let's go ahead and give him the shade. <laughs> Cause this is about to be death to whoever we're about to fight, right? I'm actually a little bit rusty with Mordex, but you know, I still think we'll get the win. Mordex is a really good legend. Now some of you might be wondering, especially if you're like new to the game, you might be wondering why is Mordex the most popular legend in the game? And we're, we're going against another Mordex. But uh, yeah, so there's a lot of possible reasons why he's the most popular, but generally I think it's because of Sandstorm. Sans if you don't know who Sandstorm is either, he's a professional Brawlhalla player, pretty much the GOAT of Brawlhalla, greatest of all time. He's won three tournaments in a row, uh, three 1v1s. Okay, that was bad. We almost gimped him and then we end up gimping ourselves. It happens. We get that comeback, let's go. Get down there! Well, he got us into orange, so we're gonna have to fight back, but let's see how we do. Goodbye. Just like that, we took the lead. Whoa! Oh, GG, dude. GG. I don't know. <laughs> Those last two stocks were incredible. All right. Um, we're gonna keep it Tai Long. And uh, that's why I don't quit games. Like, even though we got destroyed on my first stock, look what happened. <laughs> like, it, it completely reversed. Uh, let's go ahead and go Gala Colors this time. And then for the Scythe, let's go ahead and use... Ah, uh, why not? Let's use Hotline Slash. It's probably the coolest looking Scythe. Let me know in the comments if you think Hotline Slash is the coolest looking Scythe skin. And we're going to give him Steven Shields Gauntlets. These are actually really cool gauntlets. They're like little shields. You don't see them right there, but you'll see them in the game here. See how cool these gauntlets are? Not only do I have the weapons of the gauntlets, they're like little shields. It'd be awesome if I could deflect like projectiles with these, but that would probably be too OP, I guess. All right, here we go, Mr. Black212. If you guys are enjoying the video, please smash that like button. All right, here we go. Let's go, let's go. Ember versus Mordex. This is a good matchup. Both speed legends, both up close and personal, although Ember does have the bow, which gives her a lot of range. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh, 
Let's go! That was some pretty decent scythe edge guarding. We were just not letting her get back on stage. Oh, the wolf bite. I think I figured she was either gonna go for a neutral light or a wolf, and she definitely got us with the wolf. Oh my goodness, the flames literally touched her and she still didn't get hit. Nice bow down air. Ooh, right in my face. All right. That's how you play Ember. You got to snipe with the bow off stage. I do it all the time when I'm playing Ember, and it is great. There we go. She's just trying to go for neutral lights and down airs, which is smart, but once you kind of know what they're doing, it becomes a little bit easy to counter. Oh, finally I hit her with the side stick, man. I didn't even know if I could. What's she gonna do? She wanna fight me off the edge? Come on, Ember. Okay. <laughs> GG, dude, GG. That's bot dodge, though. <laughs> She's like, I'm not going off edge. You have a scythe. I've learned my lesson. Oh, man. All right, uh, let's keep it going with Tai Lung. Like I said, I will drop the code for Tai Lung after the video. It can only be redeemed by one person, but I will leave off the last uh, last digit. So let's go uh, Scythe of Torment. This is actually a scythe skin. I know it doesn't look like it, but this is from another epic crossover skin. The uh, Nyx, the, uh, what is it? Spectre Knight, is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah, it's from Spectre Knight. Oh, and there we go. Okay, so Spectre Knight Scythe, and then for the gauntlets, I'm thinking... Ooh, let's do Hands of the Cosmos. These actually look really cool. And yes, as you guys can see, I'm just going base stance. I don't really think Mordex needs to change up his stance. His st One of the reasons that he's so good is because of his stances. Like, they are just really, really... Or because of his stats. They're just really balanced. But yeah, I think one of the reasons that Mordex is just so popular is because he's won so many tournaments for, for Sandstorm. But to be honest, Sandstorm didn't even win the second and third championship with Mordex. I think he was using different legends. Like he used Onyx and like Jay Yun, I think. So, all right, I was going to do the flag taunt, but then he just like came in on and started punching me. That's all right. That axe side air, Brynn is so cool. Oh, and the taunt? All right. Watch out for those uh, unarmed recoveries, Brynn. They can sting if you're not careful.
Ow. 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 That's death. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're on final stocks. Okay, okay, okay of course. He'll taunt on every every single KO. Of course, of course. Oh, that perfectly placed neutral signature. You love to see it, especially for the KO. Bye-bye, Bryn. Bye-bye. Oh, she's still alive? How is this possible? Nice catch. That was an incredible catch on the bomb throw. You gotta give her credit on that, dude. Uh, GG. Taunting too much. Losing too much. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> oh, man. All right, I think I'll do at least one more game here with Tai Lung. Ooh, I'm not sure on the colors. Should I just go random? I usually pick one of the, like, special colors, but if we go random, we might get a basic color, but that's okay. I'll, I'll just random. And boom. Okay, we got brown. All right, I guess we're doing brown. Random on the scythe? All right, fusion blade's pretty cool. And random on the gauntlets. Actually, fusion blade goes really well with the colors of the uh, hands of the cosmos, but... All right, the humble hands. And then random on the sidekick? The Phantom Knight. Should I go random on the stance? Okay, we're going deck stance. I usually don't do a different stance, but here you go. I bet you don't see a brown Tai Lung very often, but brown's actually a really cool color because the accent color is red, and brown and red just go really well together, don't you guys think? They just do. All right, here we go, Go it against. Ooh, I love that Orion skin. And if I'm not mistaken, that's a gold forge for Orion? There's like no blue on it, so I'm guessing the blue is on the weapon, but he had golden on the armor. So I'm assuming that's a gold forged Orion. Very cool. He is uh, throwing out those digs when I have like no chance of being hit, which is kind of interesting. The Lance is awesome until you try to get a recovery and they just bop you on the head <laughs> or block it. it. It really is unfortunate when that happens. Oh, he actually hit me with that. Do it again. Oh. Get down there, Orion. Get down. Man, what do you guys think of Tai Lung? Is he the best Kung Fu Panda crossover? I don't think so. I think it's a tie, to be honest. I think they're all excellent. And honestly, how can you beat Poe? You know, Poe has probably the best. Oh, that! What? Okay. Didn't expect that to hit me, but it's all good. Oops. Tried to do a ground pound, but the stupid platform got in my way. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> yes, I need neutral air KOs. I still need like 20 of them. Oh, man. Maybe I should just go with gauntlets. Get way more neutral air KOs that way. GG dude, GG. Oh yeah, I still need 20 more. Oof. All right guys, I'll do one more game. That's kind of a short episode otherwise. I'll go fully random again. Classic, all right. Random on that. Nope, already did that. All right, reaping time and random. All right, and random. Oh, wait, I didn't randomize the stance. My bad. Or the sidekick. Or no, I did the sidekick. All right, stance. Base, all right. Fully random Tai Lung, but we got default colors, but we got some unique uh, weapons. These are the Dark Heart Gauntlets. They look pretty cool. All 
All right, Mordex versus Mordex, or rather Mordex versus Tai Lung for our final match. I know I said I was rusty, and I I do feel feel like I am rusty with Mordex because I used to be a lot better when I when I like tried a lot more to learn Sight. That I was learning Mordex, but I haven't really played a lot of Mordex. But you don't forget everything. You pretty much remember most of the attacks. It's just a matter of like the advanced combos you forget. But you don't really need to know the advanced combos to beat most players. You just have to not get hit and hit them, you know? <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be fancy. <laughs> like, I'm not doing anything fancy here, and yet he's in orange and I'm in yellow, you know? Nothing fancy. Just mostly Scythe Light attacks. Every now and then I throw in a signature just to use them, because if you're not using the signatures, I mean, you should be. They are your strongest attacks. Scythe versus, Scythe versus Scythe can be a little bit like miss, miss, miss from everyone. Then it doesn't look that cool, but when one of you actually starts hitting together strings, then it starts looking way better. Alright, we're going for a three stock again on Tai Lung. Let's go, baby. Versus the Black Mordex. GG, dude, GG. Literally, uh, pretty, pretty clean three stock there, dude. Alright. I didn't gain any of my weekly missions. <laughs> I need to work on that. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Tai Lung episode. I will be doing more Brahalla in the future, so definitely be sure to subscribe and definitely look out for that Tai Lung code in the comments. Good luck to whoever gets it. I hope to see you in the next episode. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, friends.